didn't lose out on watching the game. So yeah, it's going to be Drone and Orphelius. This is an interesting matchup. I think Drone is probably going to take it, but we'll see. Orphelius has been practicing a lot recently. Mm-hmm. Alright, and this is going to be on Intersection. This is the less shiny map. It, I intend at some point to make it more shiny, but there's no specular highlights on anything. Which makes me sad. More normal maps. Maybe the normal maps here and specular highlights along all the metal stuff. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Nah, that doesn't work. Oh, uh, excuse me. What? I'll do it some other time. Oh. Anyway, okay. drone Orphelius. Oh, the Orphelius. transparency. Right, yeah. So drone yeah, going for Clokebot, which is a little bit unusual. I mean, not terribly. This is not a bad factor choice. It's just that usually you see players go for light vehicles. This map is very flat. It has, well, fairly flat. I mean, it does have the I think uh, I've ramps. seen everything on this map from hovercrafts to uh, tanks. And it's That's not necessarily true. a... Uh... Wait, why is Orphelius... Oh, okay. Orphelius should not have a win. Oops. Okay. Anyway, Orphelius should not have had a win there. So Orphelius going for Clokebot Factory. Oh, wow, 1574. That's... I'm not sure what's been going on there. No, Elo. yeah. This ELO isn't correct. Yeah, that is... It's been deflated from doing random stuff so recently. <laughs> <laughs> they have been... Orphelius has just been experimenting with everything and doing random things. So do not listen to these numbers. They are not correct. Orphelius's ELO is closer to 1800 or so. Or I think maybe even 2000. I'd have to double yeah, it's check. mostly his uh, unpredictability that makes him dangerous as a 1v1 player. Yeah, I mean, that last tournament where against Lowry, they just went for that... They just basically played the map and cheesed out Lowry. Yep. That was... That was something. Anyway, Drone coming in here, getting shot down, not even seeing... I mean, I don't think Look they at, saw what was going on. You can no, see Drone with four metal extractors already built. Yeah, Orphelia Drone's going heavy Still on working that. on his third. Well, Orphelia's wanted to go forward. They're being very aggressive. They want to take all the territory, take the take the lower mexes first and then go up to take the rest of their mexes whereas drone they went for what appears to be the slightly safer option and also the um, slightly faster option maybe in terms i of should their economy should i i do not have a delay on this stream ah i do i just noticed yeah yeah through a delay there is a there is a delay of about a minute on this stream so anyone watching just so you know i realize hitbox does have the whole feature of instant chat but unfortunately, that is something I can't really have for tournaments. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just the nature of tournaments. Ideally, I'd be able to delay it in the engine, but that is not a feature. That is however a feature that any game trying to be a spectator game needs to have. Is some way of delaying internally. But the only game I can think of offhand that has anything like that is Supreme Commander. And even then, that's not intentional. That just is a consequence of when you join up. It doesn't, it doesn't do a fast catch-up like Spring does. It is a slow catch-up. Anyway, uh, Orphelius is checking the lower left corner for sneaky stuff. And they find nothing, which... Well, that was still a good check. Always important to double-check these things. Like, throughout the game, checking the northeast corner, th the southwest corner on this map, that can mean the difference between winning and losing. Orphelius using the new build feature for uh, automatic uh, terraform. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about that. So yeah, there's, there is now a feature where if you build something and you hold down the... Oh, I can't actually do that because I'm an observer. Never mind. But yeah, if you hold down the alt button while building, you can raise and lower terrain to fit that particular building. Really neat new feature because it does mean terraforming becomes a lot easier to use. Because frankly, the terraforming interface is clunky at best. This is a great improvement. Yes. Supports the most common use case. Uh for Terraform. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, so in case you guys didn't realize, 0k actually does allow for dynamic terraforming of the map. It requires metal, but you can do it. It just doesn't happen all that often. However, in this particular case, it's very handy because it raises the defense turret above the ground level, making it easier to defend with. Yeah. I think at this point, we'll be able to make defenders more expensive and still have them work if you use the Terraform. Although I suppose using the Terraform does increase the cost, so that... By the way, um, yeah, works. Orphelians isn't doing that badly. He's, no, uh, Orphelians is actually well. managing to hold their own. They're a slight economic lead. Well, slight economic lead by metal, slight military lead. 
forcing Drone away, and they have taken the center pretty strongly. I mean, this map makes it very difficult to hold the center, and the corners are quite important. Orphelius is, as a result, going towards the corners to make that happen. Drone is uh, also moving towards the corner. I got the UI wrong. I'm sorry, what? Google Frog saying something about me having an issue with my user interface. If you could be more specific, that'd be great. Anyway, because I don't see anything wrong. But Ooh, this oh, is, wow, this Orphelius. might be. Uh... This is going to be tricky. I think Orphelius is going to take this though. No, These Rockos is... will not do anything no, no, against no, the Glaives. No, no, no. Oh, oh wait, uh... he cannot win this fight with. Uh, no, but if he retreats from, if they retreat from here and they did, taking out the defenders opens it up. They let the Glaives no, feel no, they no, throw no. in a few more army. <laughs> I don't agree with you. This was a waste. You wasted really? units for no gain. Okay, he I was mean, just trading trading glaives for defenders. That's never a good trade. Yeah, but the important thing is that it did crack it open somewhat. Although admittedly, it's but you lose a glaive, and otherwise you would have had that glaive, and that defender would have been there. Hmm, that's a good point. I wonder if that was. I think that might have been a mistake actually on Orphelius's part. They might not have realized there were defenses there. Anyway, Drone is going towards the southwest corner, wants to take that, and is starting to take that. Taking the northeast as well, Orphelius not moving quickly. This Conjurer, in fact, now idle, not taking the northeast side of the map while Drone is. Yes. And Orphelius losing glaive after glaive. Yeah. This is actually starting to get embarrassing. Now we're getting we're getting into Defender Wars right in the center of the map. This is probably not what Orphelius would like to have. But at the same time, they do manage to somewhat win them. Yeah, but Drone will have access to some Reclaim now. Yeah, and now Orphelius just now getting hit. Didn't even see those Glaives before. Got the Raider up for a second before losing to those Glaives. He loses the Constructor, loses the left position, Completely and he doesn't, loses it. hasn't claimed uh, the top right. So from here, it's... No, like I said, the, this, this is idle. This, well... That, command, that Constructor has been idle for the last minute. If you want to play through the center like this, it's good to add some... Uh, Harder hitting units early on. And yeah. If you want well, to play the flanks, you make a lot of glaives. And that is exactly what we are seeing. And a tick coming in for. But I do see Arty. I love this. That was not the best tick actually. That only knocked out a couple glaives, but it should be enough. I'm not sure what this Morty is shooting at. Commander, I guess. Which one? Because the one of them, they're shooting at. Yeah, one of them is shooting at the commander. They're shooting at the radar dot uh -huh. of the commander. Oh. But of course, it's a dangerous wobbling. move by drone. He's now this drone is a suicide gets mission, but I think I think drone has the plan of just uh, taking out as many mechs as possible. Getting one, getting two, not still worth it. If they can run away with these glaives, constructor now to start rebuilding. Yes, it's, that's what he does. That's actually a good move. Or it was coincidence that it was on the head of the queue, but Wait, you want to reclaim and uh, rebuild uh, that as quickly as possible. So when you see that attack coming, you already queue up the constructor to anticipate. Oh wow, uh, look at those Mortys. Wait, who isn't has been in the construction? Because I didn't see any of Orphelius' constructors doing that. Orphelius is leaving those metal spots that were just destroyed idle. Like, they are not rebuilding them yeah. at all. Okay, then it was just coincidence. Yeah, because right now there's no orders with them. At this point, oh, Orphelius is Orphelius trying to take is... out the northeast. Yeah. The southwest is pretty secure for drone. I mean, they, there is no contest for that. It's not over yet. Those Mortys are really working out. I think everybody should take notes on this one. Yes. Or notes. Well, actually, no, this is something I... Well, okay. There was a match Two I Mortys, cast one between... shot, a defender. That's actually... Yes. However, there was actually a match I cast between Drone and Aquanim. It was on Quicksilver. And Aquanim used a couple hammers. And that's when I was informed by Drone that having two hammers with the Cloaky Army is very typical. This is a thing that's now just... It's a thing. And it's a good oh, idea, tick, too, tick, just tick, to break tick, defenses. Tick, 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 tick. And that tick mm. goes off, takes out only... Whoa, never mind. Takes whoa. out s five glaives. Completely reversing that. Ah. Eliminating all of the glaives, wiping out Orphelius' army, and drone at this point. If they... What were the... Hammer wars. Is their army mostly <laughs> focused on their commander? No. That's Look not at the amount it. of hammers. Oh, wow. Drone is really yeah. spamming them now. Drone has just gone mad for hammers. About ten... This, how many hammers is this? Eight hammers for Drone, two for Orphelius. You know, Orphelius is a typical two. But at this point, this is actually a point... Oh, if it weren't for the defenders. If those hammers can take out the defenders, Drone can rush in with about a dozen glaives and rip apart these hammers. That would completely eliminate the threat. Because the hammers can't do anything against glaives. There are no hammers left for Orphelius. Ah, that's no good. Although, there isn't a whole lot of defense set up for Drone either. And Orphelius is going for the flank. 
They are going to go straight for the hammers, try to take them out as quickly as possible. Without any defenses yeah, getting in the nice, way. Nice move. This nice is, this is perfect counter. Unfortunately, oh, he, Rocco took out the commander RT. at the last second. Wow. And the, oh, and they pulled back those glaives into the defenses. That's the hard thing about trying to counter with glaives. That's why I said about a dozen glaives at least. Just in order to have the firepower to deal with the defenses coming in. But I think now Orphelius throws in the towel. Doesn't even GG. That's game one. Drone takes it. I think Orphelius did have a decent chance. I think they... Just got a little bit too careless with the glaives. That, I mean, you mentioned before with the defenses early on, but also against the hammers. I mean, they got, the first three or four hammers were good, but then they needed to pull back because the defenses were still the eastern side, and they knew it. Like, Orphelius would have had radar coverage, if not vision of that area, to be able to see what was going on. That was a bit of a mistake. Yeah. Alternatively, they could have gone for mass Rocco's to deal with the hammers, because those work pretty well as well. So we're going to have game two, and also just point out that, yeah, Auto War did surrender, so Golda moves on to, naturally, on to round three. I mean, no surprise there. And then, after that, we will have, well... Not sure <laughs> what drone wants. Oh, this is a <laughs> this is a nice map. I don't even. Fisher Price, my first map project. Okay. Anyway. So drone is. <laughs> Wait. What is? Who the heck is Noob Cluster? And why are they messing with map choices? I've seen okay, it, we, are, uh... we are on Titan Duel. That's what's happening. We are on Titan Duel. Just no, no worth questioning that. It's just we're on Titan Duel. Not this old commander map, which I've never heard of. No idea what it is. It looks... Uh, well, I don't even know what to make of it. I didn't, couldn't really see it easily inside the lobby. Yeah. So we have Titan Duel as a very common choice, although we actually haven't seen it in the last couple of tournaments. Drone is up one game to Orphelius. And okay. we have another oh again. Yeah, the tournament host for it? some reason it put drone on team thirteen. <laughs> Not team two. Hmm. I just noticed that probably I wasn't recording my own voice. <laughs> on your own stream? Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. I am recording your voice on this stream, though. But don't worry, it is recorded at some point. Somewhere. Yeah. Wait, are you recording my voice and not yours? Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Now we're starting again properly. Without yeah, I don't know why these hosts don't aren't set up to auto balance one v one. I'm not sure how they're set up. Springy is weird sometimes. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, there's a lot of things that are done that are specific to zero K, which kind of makes it weird for the fact that it's Springy was, as far as I can tell, designed for BA. And oh, not again. Great. Now Orphelius is random. Great. Well, this sucks. Now I've got to deal with this crap. Uh, one sec. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to fix this. I don't know why. I thought exit wasn't going to cause wind screw-ups, but whatever. Apparently it does. And the one way I have for fixing that is taking for freaking ever. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Sorry, everyone watching, this is minor technical difficulty. I will have everything set up in just a moment. All right. Rejoin, and hopefully this will come out correct.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, look, I've got audio. Okay, so Flores' stream has audio, apparently. So yeah, yeah Flores is I, casting I, on I Twitch while I'm... Oh, okay, there we go. Got everything sorted out. All right. Sorry about the delay, everyone. I and the, There we go. So a drone in the northwest corner going for light vehicles while a Ophelius in southwest goes sorry, southeast goes for Cloaky. Very early start. And Ophelius and drone both going for economy, but actually not quite the same rate. Or drone appears to be going a bit more heavily for economy. No constructors yet for Ophelius and Ophelius, in fact, four four glaze and they aren't attacking. While drone has two masons. And it's oh, just this is going a, around. Uh, uh, oh the the vehicle gets stuck. Yeah, that is one thing about this map. The vehicles can get stuck in these little pits here. But even with that, I don't know why Arphelius did not attack with the Glaives. Especially going for four Glaives early on and not even scouting. I don't quite understand. That makes little sense to me. Anyway, Arphelius is also setting up a tick, which is an interesting choice on this map. I don't know where you... I mean, there's a few places I could see where you could place a tick, but... It is not a map with a lot of choke points. It's, it's a bit like um, you're just gambling that your opponent will throw free uh, scorches at you and you make a tick. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. You... And that... Uh, but this is going to pay out so well. Well, there's two... It's uh, constructed to the right. It's... Wow. Yeah, drone he is going heavily it. for he economy. He hasn't done anything with it. Ah, uh, he... The economy of a uh, drone will explode. Yes, and that's going to be a problem because Orphelius did not have the mobility to easily punish that. Whereas drone has the mobility to easily defend. Yeah, Detrino pointing out that Orphelius's main hope is going to be cheese. Because this is a map that drone apparently is great at. The the the, the period for cheese has passed. Oh yeah, it, it's yeah, been the, it's three the, minutes the, into the, the game. That option has been... Uh... That window has closed, as they used to say. And surprisingly, Orphelius is not building much. I don't know why Orphelius hasn't been building a whole lot of anything. I'm not getting rid of Scorcher for free, but still, that's... And the second Scorcher coming in here, not for free, however. Gonna be able to take... Oh, that! Orphelius her... isn't even spending his metal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What is Orphelius doing? Lab is idle, his constructor is idle. Nah, it's... Commander's no, idle. Never mind. Constructor's is he even dead. Playing? I don't know. I think Orphelius... No, Orphelius He's is... not uh, lagging out. No, they're controlling stuff. They're, in fact, not that... Their lag isn't that bad either. I don't know what's going on. GG! Oh, sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait. What the... What is going on? Orphelius, why are you going to the southwest? Okay, I see huh. this radar thing. Actually, that's a really nice use of the terraform. But, other than that, what? I don't understand. Yeah, this makes no sense to me. It looks like this bunch of Google Frog are going to be starting their map, their match as well. Oh, and Yogg-Sothoth did surrender. Well, Yogg-Sothoth was going to probably not come because they're against Randy, and they didn't come, so... Randy, Randy didn't come to as well? Round three. No, Randy's here. Randy came. Okay. No, just Yogstot didn't come because they figured they might as well sleep instead of losing to Randy. So we're this right now. Yeah, this is an interesting place to put radar. Not a bad spot at all. They can see the top well, side, although admittedly you rarely see units go up there. <laughs> You've two ticks, but uh Well, one yeah, of them goes off. Good. Ooh, very nicely too. Takes out three scorchers. The second one, not quite as nice, but still three scorchers. They do go down. The glaives take them out. Seven seconds left, and that'll be enough. And there goes the last quarter as well, so Drone loses their entire army to those ticks. But who cares? <laughs> He's doubling uh, the economy of uh, Orphelius. Yeah, and Orphelius is not is just now spending the money. I don't understand what Orphelius has been doing this entire time. Oh, I really okay. don't. I mean, Drone knows what's going on. They have radar coverage of pretty much the entire map right now. Like They know almost entirely what's going on. So I don't know what what they're planning on doing. Oops. And Drone now taking out Ophelius' Glaives. This is not going to... What does Ophelius expect? I mean, this, Scorchers are going to beat Glaives unless the Glaives can kite them, which 
is not going to happen. Scorchers are too fast. Orphelia's retreating, but I don't see any way out of this. Orphelia's is also... No, no, no. I mean, what is this Conjurer doing? Huh. Oh, they're out of energy. The Conjurer can't even cloak. Because Orphelia's is so on low energy. Now someone's drone, by the way, but... True. But the huh. thing is that drone isn't relying on cloak for the constructors. That is the one big difference. And drone also... Wow, okay, drone has the map. There's nothing more to be said about this. Drone has the map. Drone has the military advantage. Actually, not much of a military advantage, but they soon will. Orphelius doesn't have anything to really fight with. They don't have the type counter. They don't have anything. Does he even... Does Orphelius even know what this is going? Yeah, Orphelius knows that there is an army marching around here, or driving around here. Other than that, they don't really know what else is going on. I don't think they have... No, they have no real knowledge of what's going on in this base. At all. None. Which is not going to go well for them, unfortunately. Setting up defenses, trying to... Are they trying to... I think they might be trying to bait in reclaim, but they aren't even taking advantage of the reclaim they have. And that's the one thing that could maybe even this thing out, is the reclaim. And that isn't being used. No, I'm very surprised. No I think Rafili's, uh has given up. Yeah, I think they gave up before they even started. Okay, there we go, GG. That is the official giving up. Going for the self-D route. And that is game and match. Drone takes a 2-0. Strange, I got this bug again where uh, Spring locks up every three seconds for a fraction. Oh, that's unfortunate. Time. Yeah, I used to have it, then it disappeared, and now it's back again. Hmm. Really annoying. Yeah, that would be annoying. I totally understand that. I mean, I haven't seen it myself, but it is it would be a pain in the butt. Alright, so, let's see. Not sure who's going to be playing next. I think the Sponge and Google Frog have just started their game. Now let's, let's join them. Yeah. That is... Let's see. 